Hi guys, it's Kat and welcome to a brand new video today. We are going to get a chit chat get ready with me video because I have a lot to talk to you about. I was debating on whether I'm doing an update video for this YouTube channel or just doing something fun that's a little bit more laid back because hope you like the pumpkin spice inspired makeup look. There's been a lot going on in my life and I really need to update you guys on my health. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Just get ready and talk to you guys what's been going on. I really want to make this as easy going as possible and I don't want to, it's not that I don't want to be taken seriously, it's that I don't want it to look like I'm looking for clicks or drama and have this video titled, Cat Sketch Goes to the Emergency Room, Has to Get a Kidney Transplant. I don't have to get a kidney transplant, fingers crossed, I shouldn't jump into it like that and in saying that. But what had happened was... If you've been following me on Snapchat and Instagram, there's been a lot of stuff going on in my life. So on, it was either Monday or Tuesday, I don't know the days of the week because I've been stuck in my house. First of all, I had a pain in the back of my neck and I thought it was a pinched nerve. Everybody gets that, but the pain was so excruciating that the pain went down from my neck all the way down to my back and it hurt so bad and on top of it I was getting what I thought was sinus headaches as you can see this redness right here that's what that's from I pinch here and it, it tells me if I have sinus headaches because when I pinch here there's like a release of pressure in my head so it's telling me that my allergies are flaring up and I have a sinus pressure headache from my allergies and so I thought that's what it was, but it wasn't really relieving that much. I still did like one of those neti pot things, which is controversial in itself to do, but it always usually helps me, but it did not help me. And I had this massive headache for two days straight. We're gonna try a little YSL Beauty. They sent me this PR package, if you've been following me on my Instagram story. And they, I was like, I almost literally cried when I got this because they sent me also an engraved, one of their foundation brushes. It's engraved with my name on it. All of these, I'm gonna have to try all of one of these foundations. Oh, I just put on primer on, they sent me a primer, oops. And I got a Beauty Blender in their YSL PR package and I haven't gotten a beauty blender. I haven't used a new one in years, but like I said I had this headache for two days and it was so bad that I was screaming in pain crying and I didn't know what was wrong. So my boyfriend Corey w was nice enough to take me to the urgent care hospital and We found out the real tea <laughs> So basically, the headache was a warning sign for extreme dehydration. That's why I had such a bad headache. It didn't connect with uh, my neck pain or anything, but that went away. But my head was so bad, I was so severely dehydrated that it also triggered a bacterial infection in my urinary tract, which is the area that you pee. And a lot of people get UTIs, but what I didn't know is that what in my family, we get major urinary infections to where it go, can possibly go to our kidneys. So mine was so, is, <laughs> currently is, is so bad that it's going towards my kidneys. And what that means is, I feel like this is um, oxidizing to a little darker than I actually am, but we're gonna just work with it. Mine is so bad that's going to my kidneys and I got some medication for it. So hopefully the medication works. It's like a week long antibiotic, which girl, it's so dramatic because not the whole situation. I'm trying not to like, I'm trying to keep calm and everybody else is freaking out about it because I've been in a lot of pain, but that medication girl, I can't eat two hours before I take my medication of this antibiotic they gave me and I can't eat two hours after because if I do that, all the fat, proteins, and fats that's in the food, the medicine will just attack and absorb into the food and not into my actual system. So I have to make sure, I only eat two meals a day now I and I get full really fast which is weird, I don't know if it's the medicine. I have to take these medicine when this video shows probably in the next four or five days. And if that medicine doesn't work, this is what the doctor told me. If these meds don't work, I have to go back in the hospital and be on an IV 
So I was on a 48 hour watch. And if the IV doesn't take after my meds don't take the pills, if it attacks my kidneys, get one of my kidneys removed on whatever the bacteria has spread to my kidneys if it spreads to that. And if both of my kidneys are good, because I think you could live with one kidney. I have a friend that lives with one kidney, so I'm sure you could live with one kidney. But if it attacks both of them, I'm going to have to get a kidney transplant. And you know, it's so funny. The first person I thought of was, not my friends or family, but uh, Selena Gomez recently got a kidney transplant. I'm like, girl, if she could survive, I could survive. But that's just worst case scenario right now. We're just seeing if the meds take. And I, you know, I'm trying to keep calm and have faith. And I didn't want to freak you guys out by doing update videos on YouTube, you know what I mean? So that's what's going on in my life. And another sign I'm looking for is if, girl, I pee Kool-Aid. Not actual Kool-Aid, but blood. I call it Kool-Aid. So I'm making sure, like, I don't pee blood. And I'm just picturing if that happens, like, you know, the Kool-Aid man in the commercials, like, just pops up in my twilight dreams. But yes, I'm doing so much better yesterday, I mean today, than I was yesterday. I was going to film this video yesterday, but I was going to do an update video because I was in no state to do makeup. I can, yesterday I could not even bend over. I was in so much pain that I couldn't lay on my stomach. And the shooting pain is in my actual bladder. So it almost feels like if you have period cramp pains, but worse. Like, it feels like pressure on the inside trying to escape your body which is a weird situation and I couldn't bend over so my boyfriend was so nice to set up this whole filming station for me everything's lowered you can't tell but in person I have things kind of high up in a studio chair we took out the studio chair of my makeup room and he put in like this rolly desk chair that's a lot lower so I don't have to bend over to grab makeup products to put on makeup for you guys so that's really nice I'm still weak though like, I still have aches and pains in my bladder, and it shoots back to my kidney area, so it'll come and go, the pain, it's not as strong, the coming and going of pain as it was yesterday, and you don't really know where your kidney is sometimes until you know that the, you can feel that pain there. This foundation is gorgeous. So glad I got this. But I'm sure I will be fine. Again, I'm just keeping... A heads up but when you have an infection for anybody who has this in the future a lot of people get urinary tract infections not as serious as mine but if you have this in the future I got this water this is today's video sponsored by Essencia no but this is a water that has high amounts of ionized hydration with electrolytes it's not quite like Gatorade it hydrates you more since I was so severely dehydrated one of my friends was so nice enough to tell me about this water so I bought like bottle, I'm about to go buy bottles and bottles after I film this video. I bought like four bottles of it and it hydrates you faster. It also helps fight bacteria in my system. I also got probiotics that if you never heard of probiotics, they are the good bacteria that you need to help digest food and it's the good bacteria that you want in your body to help fight infections or prevent further any infections or inflammation you might have in your body. So I've been learning a lot. <laughs> I feel like I'm in biology class or telling you guys certain things. And I don't know if I told you guys today, but I'm gonna do a pumpkin spice makeup look because I've been wanting to do this since for a week now, since the new pumpkin spice came out. I tried the pumpkin spice latte from Dunkin' Donuts because they were the first franchise of coffee houses to come out with pumpkin spice. I never had the one from Dunkin', just the one from Starbucks. The one from Dunkin' Girl is not good in my opinion. It's like fake pumpkin flavor, not even real pumpkin flavor. Not as real as a pumpkin flavor as Starbucks, which I feel like even at home you can make it better than Starbucks, in my honest opinion. But it's not worth your time, money, nothing. And I'm a big fan of Dunkin' Donuts, if you guys know me. I'm just using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit right now. But it's so scary whenever something happens to you where you don't know what's going to happen next. And what made me super duper sad is whenever I'm sick, the first people that know about it, of course, is my boyfriend, my parents, and my really close friends. But now that... YouTube is my full-time job. I don't know if you guys know this. It's not a big ordeal, but I do have a manager publicist type thing I'm not one of those people who sign with a network or anything But a, what a publicist is she helps me with business meetings and phone calls and emails and stuff like that And she's wonderful 
and I have a great team of people I work with, but it just made me sad when I was super sick. The first person that I had to inform, other than my mother, is uh, my publicist team, my manager, and all the people and all the companies I work with. And it just like set me back a little bit that I don't want to be one of those people who like isn't close to their family just because they're always a workaholic busy person but it made me sad that those are the people that I had to tell first because I have so much going on there's so many collaborations that are going up on this channel soon that I can't wait to show you guys and some of them are gonna have to be put on a little bit of a back hold because I'm still not in the clear of this infection in my body, unfortunately. We're still trying to see if it spreads, if the medicine's working. Like, I do feel better today than I did yesterday, so that's a plus. But, you know, I don't... You can't ever tell with stuff like this. I can't track what my body's gonna do. Now I'm just going to my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown to just, you know, put the detail into my eyebrows. I'm so sorry if this video is going to be super long, it's probably going to be long because I'm ranting about what's been happening lately. Another thing that's been super sad and kind of hilarious, I try to look at the comedy in things, like me and Corey, even in the emergency room, we're cracking jokes. Just because, you know, I felt so miserable and he loves to make me laugh to make me feel better. And... <laughs> I couldn't, can't suck in my stomach right now and the only thing that makes me feel comfortable because any pressure on my stomach abdomen area since my bladder is just below that my bladder's like inflamed so I can't suck in my stomach and the only thing that fit, makes me feel comfortable wearing around the house is my boyfriend's boxers and leggings so that's all when I go outside I wear leggings and when I stay inside I wear just my boyfriend's boxers because any other pressure even like the shorts I usually wear, elastic waistband, they're too much pressure. It almost feels like I'm four months preg- well, I've never been four months pregnant, but I look four months pregnant because I can't suck in my stomach and I'm so swollen. So like I said, I'm doing a pumpkin spice inspired makeup look today and it's also inspired by this look by KT Ellen. If you haven't checked out her Instagram, she is a wonderful makeup artist. She's one of the top YouTubers and makeup artists that I've been so inspired by lately. So let's see if I can do my own little twist on it because... She's amazing. So to start off this pumpkin spice look today, I'm using this cream gel eyeliner pencil by ColourPop in the color Overboard. And I'm just gonna roughly sketch out the brown extreme liner, like so. I'm just doing a rough where I want it to be in my waterline. But yeah, thanks to everyone who follows me on Instagram and Snapchat who knew about this and were like so supportive. With a very thin brush, I'm getting Ofra's Coven. I know some makeup artists think this is a no-no, but I don't put it in my water line but, water line, but I am using a lipstick on my eyelid. I've seen many makeup artists who are truly skilled use this lipstick on their, as eyeliner, and it came out beautifully, and it didn't cause them irritation, so I feel like it's a little bit safer with Ofra. I wouldn't highly suggest it unless you know, like most companies. What's safe for your lips isn't always safe for your lids. That's the ticket. I look a little bit like a superhero raccoon. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy inspired. <laughs> Kidding. Another thing that really helps when I'm sick is at night, for some reason, cooking helps me so much. Whenever I'm feeling down or stressed out, all I do is like bake cookies or cook a ton of food and I pre-cook a ton of like meal planning food when I'm feeling better so that when I'm sick I don't have to get up and cook or order out or leave my house because I shouldn't be driving right now on these meds and so I just cook a ton of food just waiting for that liner to dry before I go back in with some concealer to sharpen it up I just be one of those girls who's like I don't need concealer to make things look sharper I could do this, but then like you realize like everybody makes mistakes. Does everyone remember that Miley Cyrus song? I always still refer my life back to that. Yes, honey. Girl, and I got my hands on the new Jeffree Star palette. Ah, oh, I'm so excited to try this. And that's what also inspired this pumpkin spice latte look because I'm using Dominatrix on that lower lash line just to make the brown blend nice. I really want to pumpkin spice up my life. If the Spice Girls literally had like 
a modern day twist. There would be pumpkin spice, turmeric, since, since she's so popular right now in the vegan community. Who else would there be? Cinnamon spice. I'm gonna get this color safe word and do it right on that bottom lash line. And now I'm gonna get this NYX Orange Vivid Brights Eyeliner in Vivid Delight. It is their VBL08 orange color. And I love NYX because I didn't know they're cruelty free. Maybe I'm the only person on the planet that didn't know that. Let me, instead of like going straight with liner, I'm gonna trace out with the orange color charm from the Jeffree Star palette, just where I wanna put this orange extreme liner. I'm just using a lip brush to do a fine detail right here. See what I'm saying? It's like a double liner that I'm trying to achieve here. Okay, now let's go into that Vivid Brights NYX color in this pumpkin orange. You just have to watch out for these Vivid Brights because I've noticed sometimes, sometimes they get a little chunky. I have such hooded eyelids that I was scared to do this makeup look because I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it's talking to you guys right now and it's kind of therapeutic to me because I haven't left my house in two or three days, four maybe, but I'm feeling a lot better right now and I'm just gonna say it's because of you guys. Getting safe word again and blending that right here. Now I'm also gonna get another NYX Studio Eyeliner. This is an Extreme Gold. I found this at Ulta and I'm like, why don't I have this? It's so affordable and it's so pigmented. Putting in the center of that orange liner. Getting some of the frosting from the Jeffree Star palette and putting that over it just to set it. Now for the inner corner, I wanna do something different here than what's from my inspiration photos. Let me get my yellow eyeshadow from my visor. This is like the most true yellow I have. Put her right here. Now it's time to dip into frosting from my Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. Now I'm just gonna get a nail art type device that does dots. And I'm gonna take that and do dots right here over the gold. Just like a cluster of dots. I definitely feel like at this point I need some blush. So I'm gonna grab my Caribbean. It's this beautiful like Almost like a berry tone blush. It's been my go-to lately. I don't know why I love this blush so much. It's perfect for almost all skin tones. And oh, that's a little much, but I feel like the warmth of the berry will go good with the fall time colors on my eyes right now. Now it's time to curl the lashes and put some false eyelashes on. I feel like doing a dramatic eyelash, honestly, because I haven't touched beauty makeup, I feel like, in so long since I've been doing so many makeup transformations. That's also why I want to film this video. There's a lot of sponsored makeup transformations to come since it's Halloween season. I had the opportunity to work with some amazing companies that I cannot wait to produce and show for you guys here on my YouTube channel. So you, if you're not subscribed now, and this is your first video to this, oh my gosh, to my channel. I'm sure this is gonna be interesting, like, oh, she has some problems and she likes to complain about her health. Usually it's not like this on this channel, I promise you that. But lately, it's just my luck with my health has not been all that great. But things could be worse. I'm still completely lucky for the people I have in my life and it's not the worst case scenario to my situation that's going on right now, so that's good. And actually, the lashes I'm gonna use today are I Do Not Care by Violet Voss, so let's see how this is gonna look with the eye look. These are one of those lashes that definitely feels like you're wearing visors on your eyelids because they're such a thick band, but they're beautiful because they're stacked and they have a 3D effect. Let's try the same brown lipstick that I use for my liner like on my lip. And I almost forgot highlighter. Let's use the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife since it's gold and I think it looks so pretty with this look. A little fan brush, the Fenty. Yes, putting some on my lip. Now let me take my hair down because we are done with this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pumpkin spice inspired makeup look, also inspired by Katie Ellen on Instagram and YouTube. I really want to do some oranges and golds and browns for the fall season, so that's what's happening here. 
I love the dramatic liner. I've never done a liner like this where it's double liner and cut crease. It was so much fun and it's kind of time consuming, but if you have patience and love to do detail, this will be fun for you. And that Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter though, so cute. So I ended up really loving this YSL foundation. I haven't tried it all day, of course. This is just my first review showing you guys and applying it. And thank you guys so much for listening to my ramble about my health issues and going to the hospital. Again, like I said, I didn't want this to be a cat going to the emergency room in like a scary story type situation, just a story time. So I wanted it to be like, as we usually do, talk with friends, put on some makeup, just chat, be calm, be cool. Hoping everything works out and I won't have to get a kidney transplant. Fingers crossed that the medicine works. Thank you guys again so much for supporting me and all your kind wishes and thoughts. It really does help. I love you guys so, so, so much. Leave me a comment down below if you've had any bad luck lately or good luck. Anything will do. Thank you guys again. And... If you don't know, on September 30th, if you live in the LA area in Burbank, California, I am teaching a makeup class still. It's ongoing, even though I am sick. I hopefully I'll be better by then. Fingers crossed that nothing bad happens. But from one to four in Burbank, California at Adamus Beauty Academy, I am teaching a beauty makeup course. And it's also some fantasy makeup. It's for four hours long. And when you purchase the ticket, which is $75 for the class, you will get over $300 worth of makeup in a goodie bag. So that's really cool. If you're living in the LA area on September 30th, that Saturday, please come and see me and we can learn makeup together. It'd be so much fun. I can't wait to see some of you there. If I'm forgetting anything else and you're new to this channel, you can subscribe for more videos that are like fantasy body painting, not just beauty makeups where I chat like this and I do just makeup as much as I can because it's so much fun. Thank you guys for continuing my passion. Subscribe and get um, there's notifications where you can get notified whenever I put out a video So you click that little bell thing and it'll tell you. I love you guys. I'll see you in another video. Bye